Hey, welcome to Power Motion YouTube channel. It's a winter wonderland here in Calgary. It's a beautiful snow day. Uh, we just have a big snowfall. So uh, I was just dying to ride this uh, fat bike. So guess what the topic is uh, today? It's gonna be about fat bike. RSD is a company based in uh, Toronto. They started in 2012. They start off with a commuter bike and then move into mountain bike and then move into fat bike. They also recently get into the plus bike as well. But today we're gonna focus on the RSD Mayer fat bike. Compared to any other fat bike on the market, they are generally start at a price around above the $2,000 mark. So they're not entry level, but relatively compared to the spec and the value of the bike, they generally have better component and generally between $500 to $800 cheaper than the same type of component that you find on the market. First, talk about the uh, RSD Mayer Build One. So I'm gonna start from the front to the back and then go down. Right up the front, I have the Maxxis Minion, 26 by 4.8 tire. So it's pretty wide, it's close to five inch tire. And then uh, in the front, I have the custom carbon fork. So it's really, really lightweight. I have the SRAM X7 shifter. Really light, really nice uh, Eastern uh, handlebar. It's really much wide handle. So going down on the mountain, it's beautiful to handle. One of the things that I really want to highlight it is the uh, custom yoke that they have built. This particular frame is actually manufactured in Taiwan. So they specifically have the custom yoke uh, made. So that will allow you to accommodate five inch tire without having any problem. As a matter of fact, I think the widest tire you can go is probably like 5.25 uh, tire on this particular bike. All right, so I'm going to move on to the Build 2. Build 2 is pretty much based on the Build 1. So the big difference between the Build 1 and Build 2 is hydraulic brake. It's an avid guy hydraulic brake. And also the transmission, they upgraded to 11 speed. So it's a one by 11. The Build 3 is pretty much similar component to Build 2. The big difference between the Build 3 and the Build 2 is Budo suspension front fork and a slightly better uh, shifter, which is the SRAM NX 1x11 shifter. Next, I'm gonna talk about the Build 4. This is the most exciting one that we've been waiting for. So here we are, we have the Build 4. We waited for the last six months for this particular bike to come out. What the difference between the Build 4 and the Build 3 now? They both are hydraulic brake, except the hydraulic brake is slightly better. Uh, the Build 4 has the average level hydraulic brake. Uh, the transmission is uh, one by 11, but the biggest component that goes into this particular bike is the low fork right here. Uh, if you click here, you can see uh, some of our old videos that talk about the low fork when we're in the uh, interbike. So check it out, uh, it provides you a lot of detail. But let's just kind of zoom into this low fork, uh, the construction wise is such a big benefit for the fat bike community. It's a carbon fork, so it's extremely lightweight. This is a special technology that they use for suspension. The way how this particular suspension work is, it's basically is based on a spring lever technology. It does not use any oil. It does not use any air. The weather does not affect the suspension. Basically, temperature changes, it doesn't really matter. So if you're riding in minus 30 degree or a hot summer day, it does not affect the performance of the uh, suspension. So it's totally basically maintenance free. All right, so uh, that's it for the Build 1, Build 2, Build 3, and Build 4. I hope you uh, find the information that you like in here. And if you like our video, be sure to subscribe it. I'm gonna go for a ride and let's, some see, let's go see some action shot with our fat bike riding around in here.